So welcome once again. So this weekend we are going to look Thank at you. how to create a corporate website. So last week we talked about building a portfolio website and we saw different um, ways we can design our portfolio website and also the key element that need to be on your portfolio website. So now we are going to look at uh, a corporate website, which is literally a business website, a, a company's website as well. So what one may ask, uh, what is a corporate website or a business website? So is the best is a website used officially to represent a brand on the internet? So that is where you can see more information about a particular company where you can read about their story, their services, the, their impact in the society, and what they are up to. So you can say the corporate website exists for the, to engage people who come to an essential conversation about a particular company's matter. So you can say it's a place where they can get the whole story of the company, something social media will not be able to highlight Let's say, for instance, you cannot write your whole story on um, Facebook and have it uh, stay there and write about your service and all those things. Other events, feed and everything, will take it out from your timeline because of how busy social media is being created to be. Same goes with Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter. So that's why it's always advisable for every business to have a website, their online space where they can update their prospects and their customers on their day-to-day -day happenings and the service and the product they offer to their customers. So with that out of the way that we thought in business, in business, business marketing and communication and the whole story is crucial. So when you are doing a business, to be able to communicate and market your product is very crucial. So you need to have a space let's say your website where you can be able to educate people and also enlighten them on the importance of your products or uh, the essential part of your services, which you want them to take part in. And also it gives you like the avenue whereby you can be able to generate leads for your business, getting people's contact information to be able to send them email to market more to them and be able to send them educational content because on let's say for instance on facebook you won't be able to be collecting people's email because there's a policy guiding that as long as it's not your you are not the owner of the platform you are limited to the things you can do on that platform that is sometimes we hear some business they say facebook blocked us maybe we violated one of the policies or that so but your website because it is your own you can do anything you want, but something that is within the good book. So you won't say because it's your business website, you go there and start criticizing other businesses or, or start calling other businesses name. So you start calling other businesses name. So it's basically a website where you want people to have a first impression about your business and the service you provide. So, so so to say, you can say a corporate website or a company website is owned by a business for the purpose of communicating with website visitors. Most corporate websites provide content. So the purpose is just to communicate to the website visitors. So whenever you come to, let's say you visit Bowie.ng, Bowie.ng, basically what I'm going to have on that platform is what the Bowie community is all about that our goal is to educate and enlighten people. They need to build a digital skill by focusing on the aspect of website design and learning how to build any kind of website with free or premium tools out there on the internet. So whoever that visits that page will see this information. And if they feel convinced enough that this is a committee they want to take part in, they will sign up or they will join if there is any form of a form for them to do they will do that and join some other corporate website has a content like uh, the company profile the description of their product and services they offer company news and assign announcements and contact information so this thing i mentioned now is the basic 
content that needs to be on a company website. So it's never that I want to build a company website or if you want to build a company website for a business, this is the key information they have to provide for you to start up. First, their company profile, because their company profile will kind of have an overview of what the company is all about. It will have their services, their vision, their mission, their core values. Their company profile will have other things. It will also have the profile information of the board of directors or any other key personality in the company. So those information are essential when it comes to building a corporate website. Before you come down to their products, their services, the industry they serve, and also talk about the blog section, which is the news section of the website where they can update what is happening in their company or in their industry or any other information that is related to their kind of business. Then finally, you want to have a contact page where they can post, where people can contact them for inquiries or to buy their services. So with that little introduction out of the way, we are going to look at different examples of top corporate website in 2021. So we are going to look at those examples and that after looking at those examples, we we'll try to keep our hands dirty by creating a basic corporate website so that we can be able to practice. So I'm going to stop sharing the current screen, which is the banner and start sharing my main monitor. Okay, I can see it now. Oh, oh great. Website and we'll go to the home page. Okay, I'm already on the home page. So this is the home page of this website. And basically, as like I mentioned, this is the home page, like yeah, the summary of what the whole business is all about. That is what you see on the home page. Then they have like fonts, they have about us. Remember, I mentioned that company profile. So a corporate website will have a company profile. Then they talk about responsive responsible investing. This is more like a, a knowledge base what, where they will explain more what the investment is about. This is an investment company. Yeah, in that note, then after that, you see there is a news section where they write the up to date information about their industry or about their company, what they do. Then the final you can see here is the contact us. So, you see, when we go through different other um, corporate websites, you can see that this information, these links are basic across. Well. So, let's check another one. So, we have um, MediClinic International. So under Medical International, we have uh, sustainable development, we have a resort center, we have news. You can see news is here, you can see contact is there. So this is there, you can see career. So based on that, I believe that this sustainable development, you can also see there is um, a cookie notice here. So every corporate website now has this notice so that people will know what they do with their information. So you can see on this landing page, they have the 21, 2021 annual report. They have a, an about section, what their company is all about. They also have a little bit of statistics, 74 hospitals, five sub, sub, yeah, sub acute hospitals, mental health facilities, daycare clinics. So they have statistics, then they have uh, their divisions. They have their sustainable development and invest, investors relation. So basically, this homepage summarizes what their business is all about. So once you are here, you can be able to tell, okay, this is what they are into, and this is what their result is like, and this is the industry they sell. So you can find that on their homepage. Then when you go to their news section, this is, this is where they update their site visitors on what they are all about, you can see new sustainability linked banking facility, medically in, what irrevocable undertaking with. So you see the whole lot of information that have to do with them. So this is what the new section is all about because you want your site visitors, you want your customers to know what is happening in your business because the corporate website is not an isolated um, platform where you say, okay, this is just, it's not, it's not an in intranet, a type of uh, website whereby it's just about the staff of the company. So the website is exposed to the public. So you want to feed the public with much information they can get without coming directly to your office to find those information. 
So let's see um, Alliance Trust. So this, they have also that notice. So I have to accept this. And now after doing this, I'll keep seeing their ads. But it's okay. I understand. So you can see there is about us. There is how we invest. There is how to buy. Now you see we are back to news and events. So they have news to update. Then they also have an event to tell people what event they, that is coming up. Then they have the press releases where they have been mentioned, maybe in the television, in the newspaper, or in the magazine. So that is where all these things. So let's, then you have help and contact. Then under help and contact, you find the contact, and also you find the FAQ, the frequently asked question section. So let's look at about them and see what they have. Let's wait for that to load. Okay, so these have loaded. Uh, basically, you can see uh, proceed. Okay, so on the okay, this took us to the press. So you can see titles of the press releases, and you can view what it's all about. So let's quickly run through these home services. So you can see contact, you can see services, you can see about us, you can see newsroom, you can see blog and content. So uh, let me get this okay out. So accept. Great. So with this one, you can see home about. So some you can have your team where you can show the different people that work, like I mentioned. You can show different people who is joining with admin. Let's put this person out. Excuse me. I'm sorry, you it's still me. Oh, cheese room. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to connect my laptop. I wasn't seeing very clearly. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to keep the person out. <laughs> okay. So um we have the contact, we have team. So team is in the corporate website, team is where you showcase the people working, maybe the board of directors or the investors or the trustees this is where you show them thoughts and that is it uh, basically so when you go through different all these different it's just basic information about us our portfolio our news and media and contact so that is what they are all about so there's a place where they sell templates for wordpress they call it a team forest so on that team forest i've tried to show also the temp template professional corporate website template and i've selected one and this is what it looks like when you look at you see home features of the template testimonial blog and all this so when you look through it's literally the same information statistics and everything the same information you are going to see and that's what makes it a, a corporate website because you want to feed people information that tells more about the business so with this out of the way, um, we are going to launch our local. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. So, like you always do, you are going to create a new site. So, we are going to call it um, XYZ Investments. So you also check your advanced settings. Everything is well. Go to continue. Everything we always leave it at prepared. Go to continue. We choose our default admin. Admin. Remember, always they use admin when you are working locally. But once you are to work on a live website, make your username and password complicated so that hackers will not hack your website. It's advisable to use alpha numeric. Uh, minimum of six characters and maximum of 16 characters, if you can remember it, but you are not expected to remember your password, so you are meant to write it out somewhere that is only you that knows what it's all about. That is the advice when it comes to setting up your account credentials. Then this is the email that Luca will give you, but if you want to be able to get email on your Gmail or any Yahoo mail, you can put those information here and click add my site. So at this point, local is going to connect to the internet and download the WordPress installation file. 
and set up your WordPress environment for you to start building. So right now, you know, chill and wait for the process to complete. So if you have any question, you can ask me why we wait on this process. No, nothing really. I'm actually building along, so <laughs> I'm just doing as you do. Okay, great. So let's wait for WordPress to install. Okay, so if you want to, like, uh, on this same local, you can build like as many sites as you want, like different kinds of kinds of sites that you want to you just keep adding sites and you build multiple sites on the platform. Yeah, yes. It just um, it's it just the software that enables you to build website locally on your machine without hosting it online. So as you are getting idea, you can test your idea on this local machine on your laptop and build it once it. It's something that you feel that can go live. You can launch it. It will go live. So basically, that's what I do before. When I'm working on an idea, I just launch it and start. Because here, I can make all the mistake I want to make and correct it without Google indexing my site and all those things. So that's why it's always good to start okay. locally before going to invest money to buy domain name and hosting. You end up having to pay so much when you haven't started the business or the idea in vision. Okay, now, so the installation is complete. And we are going to look at, let me open our site and see what the problem is, okay. So let me drag this our site out. So this is our site currently, the XYZ investment we just created. So I'm going to, I'm going to the back end. So to access the back end of your, the dashboard of your WordPress website, you're going to use WP Admin. So WP Admin will give you access to the back end of your website. So with this running locally, we are going to wait for it to connect. Okay, good. Remember the username and the password we selected was admin. I'm going to impute that. So once that is correct, you are going to be connected to the dashboard of your website. So while we wait for that to load, Okay, so let's wait for that to load. So I'm back. Okay. Welcome, Omo. I can see you are here. You can hear me. So sometimes, um, can you hear me, Madam Claire? Uh.
Can you hear you now? Sorry. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Well, no, we're not well. Okay. Is it much better? Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Okay. So, um, <laughs> what I'm doing is to clear our WordPress environment to make it um, cleaner for this corporate website we are going to build. So I've gone through the post section to remove all the posts that came with the installation. I've gone through the pages to remove all the pages that came with the installation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up what we call the permalink. The permalink is basically the URL of your website pages. So I'm going to set that because I don't want to set that you go to settings and you go to permalinks. So what this means is that if I have a home page which is a home and my website is xyzinvestments.local slash home. That is my home page. So for me to do that, if I select this one plane, what it means that my home page is good, my about page, for instance, is going to be xyzinvestment.local slash p123. So this is not um something that the uh, Google search bot can relate with because they can't tie this code into a particular page or read that information. People will not know okay, if this is about us or this is services or something. Then another option here is day and name. So what this thing does is going to append the date you publish that post and the name of that post to the URL of your post or your page. Then another one is month and name. What this one does is going to append the year and the month which that page was created and the name of that page as well. Then the numeric is going to append the archive and the page code of that page into the URL. The recommended one is um, the post name. The post name, what this is basically going to do is going to append that particular page. So if you create a bad, a bad thoughts page, it's going to be xyzinvestment.local slash about us. If you create a contact us page, it's going to be xyzinvestment.local slash contact us. So it's going to append the name of that page at the back of your website URL. So with that out of the way, it's based, it's, is uh, recommended that we choose the post name that Google, this is the one Google works with because it's going to help structure your website pages and links. So that's what we are going to use. But if you are getting creative, you want something very much detailed or something, you can go into custom structure where you can add the year, add the month, add the day, add the hour or something. Maybe you are working on something you want to, it might not really be a corporate website, but you're working on a site that you want the URL to capture the current date and the person that is on that page. So you can do that. We will talk about permalink in our future classes. So with that out of there, I'll click on the save button. I will save this setting and then we'll move in. Let's wait for it to load. You can't hear me. I was breaking at some point. Uh, ah, but now. Yes, I can. Oh, great. Sorry about that. Give me one minute. I want to see what you're seeing to. Okay, so um, with that saved, 
So we are going to go through our plugin section. Remember, I stated in previous class that plugin is a uh, plugin is a bunch of uh, scripts, custom scripts that helps us add dynamic functionalities to our WordPress website. So that is what controls the functionalities we have on our website in the aspect of a contact form, a, a booking form, a, any form of, uh, let's say, a slider, a video player, or an audio player. So plugin is what enables us to be able to integrate those features and functionality into our website. So we are going to look at that first. So we are going to pick our plugins, remember? So once you click on plugins, you're going to add a new plugin. Like we did in the last um, class, we selected Elementor, which I mentioned is a page builder. So a page builder enables you to create different layouts of your website. I used Amazon website to illustrate that in the last class. So now we are going to install and activate Elementor. Let's wait for it to install before activating it. Okay, let's activate. Okay, so now we have installed Elementor. Let's go ahead and install our Astra starter template. Good, let's search for Astra. Okay, so we, we have seen it here. It has about one plus million active installations. So that means it's a good plugin to use. So we are going to install that. When you are installing plugin on, uh, element, on WordPress, try to check out the number of reviews and the last updated day. So the last update was on was three weeks ago, means that these people, they are currently updating this plugin and that means it's up to date. So you check out two months ago, four days ago, three months ago. So when you are installing a plugin based on what you want to do, always check out the last updated day and also the reviews from people who have used it. So I'm going to activate this plugin. So if you have any question, feel free to stop me at any point to ask your question. Thank you. Let's wait for that to activate. Okay, good, that I've done. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to install a team. A team is what creates the look and feel of our WordPress website. So I'm going to install a team to our design. So um, to install a team, you go to appearance. Under appearance, you select teams. So now currently we have three default team that is installed when we downloaded our WordPress file. So now I'm going to add the team we are going to use to create our business website. The team I'm going for is Astra because it's one of the best team out there and also Hello team. But for the purpose of this class, we are going to use Astra. All you need to do, just click on install. The system will download the team and install it on your website locally. Let's give it some time. So the time it will take to install a team or plugin depends on your internet speed. So once your internet is fast enough, it will download it and install it very fast. So I'll activate this team right away. Wait for it to activate. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I got 
disconnected. Let me know once you can see my screen. Can you all see my screen? Yes, we can. Oh, great. So um, we have installed the Astra team and also we have activated it. So when we look at our website now, this is what we are going to see. So now our website is looking different. So we now have a different look on our website. Then another thing we are going to do is the good practice, whenever you install a team, delete the teams that you're not using. So we are not using the 2019 team. I'll click on it and delete. We are not using the 2020 team. I will delete it because once you have all these things on your website, it's going to build up and affect the speed of your website. You try to make your website as light as possible so that it can open up faster and Google can be able to index it. When we get to the SEO section, the search engine optimization section, I will explain more on the load time of your website. So with this installed, like we did last uh, week, we are going to click our starter templates. Remember we are building a corporate website. So why I'm using this process is because as you are starting, you don't need to invest so much money in buying team or paying for plugins that are premium. You want to start little and you grow through the process. That is why I'm taking you guys through this process of using free tools on the internet to build your website because this will help you. So because we are using Elementor, I'm going to select Elementor. I'll wait for that to load. So this is the interface we saw last week when we are talking about uh, building a portfolio website. Like I always advise free to, you go and select business, you select free. So basically this is going to generate all the free template that has to do with business sorry, and it's going sorry. to show, okay. Sorry, I can hear you. Yeah, sorry, I just missed the last thing. Sorry, I missed the last thing you did now, deleting the other um, ones. After the deleting, how did you get to this page, please? Sorry. Okay. Uh, I think it's a good practice to delete your templates when you are not using it so yeah. that it won't affect the speed of your website. So after I've deleted those yeah. templates that I'm not using, I have the abstract team that we install, which is the current team that is running on our website. Yeah. So now yeah. the next thing we want to do now, we want to import the templates that we are going to use in designing and customizing our business website. So to do that, you go on the same appearance you are in, you look down to starter template. Remember we saw this plugin, the Astra starter template. That is what we are going to use to install the template we are going to use to build our website. So with that selected, it's going to load into this window we are going to see right away. So it's going to load into the starter template window and this window, you see both the different categories they have your blog, business, e commerce, and others. So, we are going to look at blog, e commerce, and another website in our future training. So, for this training, we are looking at business websites and we are going to look for the free template because we are not doing paid template or paid plugin because I want you guys to start with little or nothing and start building your website career from that. So now you are going to see a list of free templates that is listed, there are a whole lot of them. There's no how you can consume all this thing on a single project. So we are going to pick one and just look at the structure of that one and how to customize it for our own need. Let me pick here. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, can you hear me loud and clear? 
Yes, with okay. Let's wait for the, okay, it's loading in. So let's go through and see what we have here. Uh, okay. Let's look for a good looking business website. Okay, this looks like a business website, uh, but it has to do with law firm and all those things. Let's look for something corporate. Life coach. Uh, no, sir, stand there. What is still like this? Sorry about that. Thank you. So this is how you go through the free template to see the one that fits your need. Okay, have a windows, windows and door services. Then we have another another option which is um, interior designer. Then we have the final one, which is the uh, interior design frame. So we are going to use interior design frame. So once you click on the template, they are going to show you the different pages of the template. So this is the home page. You can scroll to and see what it looks like. You can look at what it looks like. So you can see it's looking well laid out and it's looking professional. We are going to look at the about us section you see how it's looking with information with the teams and it's looking professional look at testimonials it's looking good you look at the contact us page it's looking good oh wow this is amazing so what i'm going to do now remember this is how our website is like there is no content it's not looking as if something has been done on it it's just looking blank so what we are going to do right now is to take this template that we just selected and transfer it into our website and make it our own website template. So to do that, oh, you see three buttons. See, preview this template. So let's preview it and see what it looks like. Okay, wow, this is looking lovely. So just tell me, is this I template not look? Okay, you have a question? It's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, I'm supposed to be seeing the same thing you're seeing if I'm working on it, right? Or is could, could it be that this is premium on my own because I'm not seeing the this particular template um, interior firm? Yes, templates. And no, I'm seeing it, the windows and door services, but I'm not seeing the. No, it should be there. It should be at the bottom. Yeah, I think second to the last one. Maybe it's rearranged on your own. You can search. You can just search um, interior. Fem, there's a search field there. You can just search for it. Okay. Have you seen it? Oh, okay. So, all right. So you can see that this template is looking profitable. With this alone, you have already gotten the job done. Ninety percent of the job done. So when you go down, you see information you can customize everything is looking wow this is great and when you check out the mobile view when you check out the mobile view you can see it's mobile responsive it's mobile responsive it's looking great when you look at the desktop the desktop view let's see when you look at the tablet view it's looking responsive so you see this template is already designed for mobile and tablet users as well. So now you see how is the, we are going to look at the different pages of this to be sure that what they showed us on the preview is what we have. So this is the portfolio section. So this is the interior decoration company. They are into interior decoration. You see their project side is where they showcase their services and the work they have done. They are looking amazing. And another thing there, this section, like I mentioned earlier, this video that there is a about us page where you talk about your company, your services, the key people, the statistics, 
and the team and the clients, their partners and everything. So they already have that in this template. The another thing we are going to look at testimonials. What are your customers saying about your business? Because you need social proof that people have actually used your service and they loved it. So that is why you are going to impute the testimonials on your page so that people can trust your business and try to do business with you guys. Then finally, the fifth you or sixth you have here is the contact us page. This is where you ask people to leave information to contact you and to learn more about your services. So this template is looking good and we are going to use that. I will close up this window and go straight to install, import complete site. So if I do import complete site, they are going to import this whole template into our site. Another one is import contact template. So what this means that any of this page that I selected, this changes. So maybe I want to import just this template, it will change. So I will make use of that particular template, but we are going for a whole site. I will select that, we'll load it. So with this, I don't really need to, so, for now, we, got, we are all beginners and we are building it for ourselves and our company. We go next. We don't need to give them our name. I don't, we don't need them to market to us. We skip this process. Then this plugin needs to install WP forms to use it to create a contact us form. So we wait for the installation process to complete. So while you wait, if you have questions, you can ask and also want to know uh, there is a reaction um, option on Zoom. So if I ask question and you want to, you can use the reaction listen to raise your hand or something. Last week, I don't know, uh, between um, Mr. Love, I don't know, Mr. Love, can you hear me? So if you can hear me. I can, okay. I can hear you. Is it your first class or you have been joining? No, 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 no. This is not my first time. Okay, so that means you have... This is Samuel. Oh, Samuel. Oh, you changed your name to Mr. Love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome, Mr. Love. It's no longer Samuel. Now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, Omo, welcome. Uh, can you hear me, Omo? Omo, are you there? So we'll be rounding up this class in two minutes. So let's wait for it. Okay. So who is raising? Okay, great. So that means you have put, you were last you were with us last week when we did the portfolio watch. I so you understand this process as well. So let's wait for it to complete. We have for the four percent to go. Okay, so our site is done. Say, hooray, the website imported successfully. So let's see what our site looks like now. This is what our site is like. See how it's looking, unprofessional, no content, nothing. And this is what our site is now. Wow. Yeah, it's looking. So we now have a brand new website to use and customize. So now we are going to customize this home page. All you need to do is click on edit with Elementor. It will load this home page for you. So it uploaded the home page into the Elementor's editor. You can see all these things. So now what we are going to do here, we are going to start customizing. So this is modding design solution. We are going to call this the best cleaning service provider, which I say anything like that. So you can fifth consistent award winning. Yeah, great. So you can add the description, you can add the call to reverse. So now I don't like the fact that the button is down here because it get, people will find it difficult to take an action. So we are going to modify this by doing some little movements. So let's see from here, we have this, I'm going to reduce this. So to 
format any of the content you have on this elemental section. They call this section, they call this a single column section, a double column section. This is a column, and this is a column. So there is something we call navigator. When you open this navigator, I think we are going to look at elemental plugin as a topic by next weekend because I only want us to understand this plugin so that we can be able to flow well when I'm talking about it. So for this, this is a section. You see it has been highlighted. This is a section. And inside this section, you can have a column. This is a column wherever you see a highlight or dotted line, that is where I am currently on. So you have a first section, you have your second section. Now, once you leave this section, you go to another section. So this is another section. Once you toggle it open, it has a single column. So from this section, you go to another section. This one has a double column. You have column one and column two. The same, so your website, building your website, you are going to build your website using sections and columns. That is called block design. You are going to create your section, which is the block, and you're going to add columns inside your block. So when we start talking about Elementor generally, you are going to have an understanding on how to customize this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my section. I'm going to go to the vertical alignment. I'll take it up, but nothing is happening. I'm going to look at the advanced and see what's happening. So. On the advanced, like I mentioned when we started this training uh, about padding and margin. So remember I said margin controls the spacing around a box and padding controls the spacing within or inside a box. So right now you can see there is a space between this fifth consistent award winning year and the top of this window. And this is, a padding of 200, it was 200 and let's say 240. So inside this box, a padding of, a top padding of 240 has been created and this has shifted these two columns from the top to the middle, making it to hide our call to action button, which blizzed out from the viewport. So, in web design, you call any area of your website where people can view on their the first area of your website where what where they can what where they can see the content of your website on their laptop or tablet or desktop. You call it your viewport. So your viewport is that area where your so the first content of your website is shown. That's the viewport of your laptop. So once I scroll now this automatically turns to the viewport of this website. I'm seeing this content at the viewport of my computer. So that's what it's all about. So you want to make sure that at each of the viewports, the content fits in perfectly. So now this is not fitting in perfectly into the viewport of this laptop. You are going to adjust that by going in into the section and reducing the top padding. I'm going to start with 100. Let's start with 100. Let's see. So yes, 100 is correct. I can see my button now. So now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to reduce the size of this text. To reduce the size of this text, select the text, go to style. So style controls the formatting of your widget. So this is called a widget. So this is edit heading. So this is the heading widget. So once you click on it, you are going to be able to edit it. So I'm going to reduce the typography size. So on that typography, this is the font. We are going to control the size of the font. So we are going to toggle and we are going to slide it. So when we are doing Elementor as a topic, we are going to look at this unit, what they mean and which is recommended and which to use and when to use them. We are going to look at that. So with that out of the way, I've reduced this and my button is looking perfectly fit. But I don't like the fact that this section is getting closer to my logo, I'm going to add a padding, not on my section, I'm going to add a padding on my column. So we are going to click on the column and click on the advanced tab. I'm going to add a top padding. 
on link this links everything here so since it's link if i type anything here let's say five it's going to across it's going across to all the top right bottom left but that is not what i want i just want the top i'll delete this i'll unlink it then i'll put 20 pixel top padding and this will remove it a bit move it a bit away from my logo so this is what my hero section is looking like so with that out of the way, I can go in and change my image. Once you click on the image, you can go through your library and choose an image. You can say, okay, I like this image. You can change that image. Then you can come here, click on it, and change your test. You can type anything you want based on your content. You can type and change your test. You can change your image. So this is you editing this template to fit your brand. So change image that have the same size with the one on the template. So when you want to select an image, always look at this side, you see the size of the image written it 10 by 1000. So let's go with that. Let's see what to come out. Okay, good. So with that out of the way, so I can further to learn about my business. So you can go in and edit no more. I can call this, I can delete it and call it learn more. So you can see it's an easy peasy kind of thing. You can go in and edit every element you have on this template to suit your need so when we start doing elemental as a topic you will know all these widgets like now i click on this they call it icon list so it's a widget in elemental so i click on this you see icon box so there are different name icon list and icon box I'll, this is different widgets they use in building this template and when you click on this you see edit testimonial so it's already here so you have all these features embedded. So with that out of the way, once you have done with your modification, all you need to do is update it. Once you update it and come back to your home page and refresh it, it will load in your new design. See now, this is how our design that we modify is looking like. So that is how you go about your portfolio website. Now you see you have home portfolio about testimonial and contact, but you don't have services. So now we are going to add another menu here and we are going to call it services. So to add a menu, what you are going to do is to create another page. So you go into your dashboard, you go to pages. So these are the pages you have here. So we are going to create a new one. We are going to call it services. Okay, so I'm going to call this services. I'm going to select on that template, I'm going to make it elemental full width, then I'm going to publish this. So feel free to ask me questions where you need to, and also know that when you are watching this video again and you have any question, you can always chat me up on Telegram on the discussion group. You can ask your question and um, I can assist you with the answer. So once you do that, remember we have a starter template and now our template, our new page is not showing. It's still not showing. So how are we going to add it on this navigation menu? So to add it on the navigation menu, all you need to do is come to this place where you have the name of your website, you see a drop down that has dashboard, team widget, then you have menu. So we are going to add that page to our menu. You click on menu. Now this is the menu you are seeing, but this is not the menu on our website. So you go to menu and toggle primary menu, you select it. It will show you the primary menu. So this is the primary menu, home portfolio, about us, testimonials, and contact us. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to add that page we created services. We are going to add it. Once it's added to this menu,
code is not added to the menu. Another thing you just, you can drag your menu around to rearrange it. So we are going to take this to home, services, about us, and portfolio and contact us. So I've rearranged my menu. Once I save this menu and visit our website, you see it's going to show on our website. So now we have home, about services, testimonials, portfolio, and contact us. Once you click on contact us, you are going to see that form that I was talking about. So you see, so I don't know why that form, I'm not sure. Okay, so they, this template doesn't have form, I guess so. So with that, with our services looking empty, there's nothing on our services. Now I want to add something on our services. So what I'm going to do, I'm going back to our starter template. I'm going back to our starter template. I'll click edit. Let's wait for it to open. We have two more minutes to go, eight more minutes to go. So once that, has, once that is open, you click on edit with Elementor. Oh, sorry. Let's go back, it's not edit with Elementor. You are going to do starter templates. So you are going to do starter templates. So it will open this, there are two, you can do patterns. So this pattern is different blocks you can, Impute in your design, you can import them by different sections and everything. So let's go through and see. Let's build our service page. Okay, so inside our service page, let's look for a, a pattern. So I like this hero section, I'll import this. Let's wait for it to import. It's taking a while. Okay, that's important. So let's let's preview this and see. So let's go to service and see what we have there. Okay, we need to update this, update it. So let's refresh and see. So you see now we have this call to action imported in our service page. So that is how you can, when you do edit with Elementor, that is how you can import, they call it with your block widgets. So you can come in, you can import another one, blocks. There's no results, so let's look for a page to import free. Let's see this. Mm, there's no services there. Let's go back. There's no services there. We are looking for a service template. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, this is the services page. So let's open this. Okay, it looks good. Let's just import this into our page. Let's wait for it to import. Okay, good, imported. So I can go ahead and delete this, and then I will have this. So you see, we now have a new template imported in our service page. So now this is how our new service page is looking like. So this is how you import template and then you can customize it to have the look, you can make it black, you can make it black. 
I can change the color of this to black, depending on how. So you can go in and customize, you can change the text, you can type what you want. You can change the image and put the image you want. So you can go in and change all this thing to fit your design. So once you are done with your changes, you just click the update button and this will be updated on your website. So basically that is how you create a corporate website or a business website using Elementor Page Builder on your WordPress environment. So using templates, it is easy for you to do and customize it to look and fit the brand you are building it for or for your own personal use. That is why it's okay to use templates. I don't want us to go into paid plugins, how much it will cost and all those things. That's why I say let's use free tools with, to let you know that you don't have anything holding you from building website. I've given you the tool to run WordPress on your local laptop, meaning that you don't need to buy a domain name yet or a hosting plan yet. You can start practicing right away on your laptop. I've showed you how to install Elementor. I've showed you how to install Astra Team. I've showed you how to install Astra starter, starter Templates for Elementor. So with these three tools, you can build any kind of website. Let me just show you website that you're open to build. Let's go to starter template. Because when you know the possibilities of things you can do, it helps you to get serious with any idea that you are incubating. So now you see, this is all. So let's go to blog. So blog is for writing content that you want people to read or based on your knowledge space, you want people. So let's say for instance, food blogger and influencer. Let's look at this template. So this is about a food blogger. She, she's an influencer and she's a food blogger. She, she blogs about food. And she asks as an influencer to restaurant and all those things. She can help them promote their services. So you can see on this blog, it's all about food, different cousins and all those things. So you can see it right away, videos of food and everything. So you can see if someone says, okay, I need, I'm, I'm running a restaurant, I need a, a website where I'll be talk, talking about the recipes and everything. So you can use this template and set up the website and customize it to suit the client's need. So when you go back again, still on blog, you can see business magazine. So you can see how this is looking. It's looking so professionally laid out. So you can use this template to create a business magazine where people can read information like this day, this day newspaper, the Sun newspaper, Vanguard newspaper. You can use this to create a kind of website like their own. Back to blog, it, it, let's look at the free version while we're on this. So, so back to blog, you see this, daycare, so you have this uh, child care expert. So she gives tips on how to take care of your children in this blog. So you can use this to set up the blog. You can see what people are saying about this blog. You can see the writers of this blog. So there might be parents as well writing about their experience with their children and everything. So you see this template is looking all professionally laid out. You can use it to build your, web, your blog's website. So now let's talk about business and choose the free version. So you see all these things are different types of business website you can create. So let's say you are into relationship and life coach, this template is perfect. So see how it's looking. You see, with all these tons of template laid out here for free, you can start building something for yourself. When you feel comfortable that, okay, I've updated my content and this is the information I want people to start seeing, then you can think of taking it from local, hosting, which is on your laptop, into the online hosting, where you want the world to see your content out there. So these are tons of different websites you can build using this abstract starter template without paying anything. It's for free. You can go in after tonight, install as many you want, practice, install and practice with local for installing your WordPress. You can install, you can say, okay, fine. I want to try out um, this life and um, 
relationship and life coach template. You can set up another WordPress environment and you install this template and try it out and customize it and look at how it is done and everything. So that is how you learn. You can only learn how to build by practicing. You can't just learn by just sitting down, hearing me or watching me show you and then you, you go and sit down and think you have learned something. No, you need to get your hands dirty. You need to learn why you are learning. You are asking questions. I'm available to answer your questions. I'm available to put you through when you have difficulties in anything because that is why I'm here. I will teach you. I will show you. I will, I will ensure that you understand it and also you can do it for yourself. So guys, that is it for tonight.